This is Natalie from Line.Arrow from the Netherlands and I'm here to do another bingo drawing and to work a little bit on the um, file folder we started making in the last video. We did the bingo numbers drawing. I started to make this one. Um, it has to end up looking a little bit like this one. This one already have the papers in. Um, I can show you real quick. But we are going to fill this one with papers today too. It's just uh, some different kind of papers. Uh, ledger, um, music paper, stamped, embossed. So, um, but first let me do a little bit of number drawing. Um, I had planned to do the, this drawing sooner. Uh, but yeah, I was ill. I'm still not completely better but doing much much better um um i can tell you I, I don't have covid in case you might wonder but um i have uh I, I think you call it an, a water infection but it has to do with my kidneys and i'm on medicine at the moment and it's going better I'm not feeling um very well but yeah um trying to be better um let's draw some numbers oh and, and thank you for all the uh good well wishes in the facebook group i really appreciate that i saw them but i didn't react because I, well, I really wasn't feeling very well at the moment i had a fever um and you wrote all those um nice comments but yeah the first number is uh, n34 so we're going to cross that one off I don't have oh I have it the second number is I 28 I 28 I don't have I 28 and then we have O 73 So I'm picking uh, a bit more numbers today to catch up a little, otherwise we will be still be playing bingo in the new year. Um, I number 18. O 64. G fifty two. I didn't check my card. I don't have. Yeah, I do have G fifty two, and I don't have O sixty four. There's something sharp in here. Oh, it's a stapler. They just tapled the bottom half shut with one stapler, and when you grab in it, it's under your nail. G fifty five. And the next number is, I'm going to do one after this one, and then we are going to do some crafting. G, 56. That's a coincidence. I, number 19. So, well... I'm kind of curious uh, how far we are with the, with the bingo cards. Um, let me just take this out of the way and we go and work on the file folder journal a little. So I have here the, the first file folder and I do need to put an eyelet in here and maybe do a little bit with the clip also. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, uh, but we first are going to pick some pages to put in 
And in this case, I also want to put in some book pages. I have different papers, but first, first let me just do a selection of the regular papers or some sort of regular papers. I think this is too this is too big. I don't want to cut um, cut it off. I can put this in. I can fold it in half um, like so and make it flip out. I have some coffee dyed papers over here. Um, grid paper I want to include. It's too long. Too high. Not sure how you say it. I'm not measuring anything, I'm just eyeballing it. You can measure if you want to be precise and cut all the pages at the same width if you want to. I, I don't mind if it's not the same at all. Um, I have some really old letter, but this is really... I use this. One of them is really brittle, breaking very fast. I'm going to use this one. Um, so I'm just cutting off a little bit over here. I'm also cutting off this folded half because I don't want it to be that long. So it's like this. I cut this in half. Fold it. sure if I'm too close to the camera right now. Maybe I am. Side. Um, let's see some other mm. yeah. So if you have ripped papers, uh, coffee dyed papers, don't throw them away because if you make smaller journals, you can still use them. inside also going to use this piece even though it is ripped I don't mind I like it that way and to include this one this one this one is a little bit too wide 
Let me just check if I can make this smaller. Okay, I um, also want to include some book pages. I have different ones here. Um, let me just check what fits with the journal. Uh, if it's the same colors. These are, I like this one. These are Dutch, um, this is from a Dutch book. All of them are Dutch, by the way. I like this. This one too, so maybe that one. And then I have smaller book pages. I want to include this one. And something with birds. Oh, this is a beautiful picture. I'm not sure if it will fit. Let's try. And then I have something with, how do you call these? Orchids? Orchids. We call them orchideia. Um... Let's try this one. Put in one with script. And I have a little paper bag I want to include. Okay, let me just check what I've got now. Because I don't want to put all these in. Just have to pick one of these. I think I'm going for this one. I think it's too wide. But if I cut out a strip, I will ruin the page. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it in anyway. I'm going to include it on the outside. Maybe just a small bit. So the script will be intact. Maybe I ruined the, the flowers a little bit, but yeah. It's just a little. It's okay. It's still okay. Okay. Um, I want to include this one. Here. Yeah. Like so. Do I want to include this still? I don't know. I don't like this one. One with the orchids, but I have the same problem like with the other page. It's a little bit too wide. If I cut off this strip completely, I can still use this. I'm gonna put it in anyway. It's okay. And we have the bird. And I'm not measuring anything, I'm just eyeballing it. Um, I cut off his, um, <laughs> his beak. You see? Yeah, well. It's not a real bird, so it's okay. Uh, do I want to put in the back? Yes. I think so. I don't want to place the back in here. Turn it around. If you put in the back, you can put something in here. It has to be like this, I think. But I have to open this side, otherwise you can't put anything in this, uh, on this side. So I have to 
got it open. And to be honest, if I put it like this, um, yeah, I'm going to put it like this. I'm not sure if it's the right way, but I'm going to put it like that. And the other thing I want to include uh, are maybe one or two of these papers. Um, sorry. I bought this at Amazon, the Dutch Amazon. Not sure if you can see. It's very shiny. It's a vintage paper. It's an A4 size. And it is, um, I think, I'm, I'm probably not the first showing you this, so I'm not pretending that I found something new. Uh, but I do like how these look. Just want to show you real quick. Um... You have different designs, I think. Yeah, it smells horrible, by the way. It's really, um, but I like the, the way they look. And maybe you can even print on them and have a real vintage uh, vibe when you're printing out a kit. And you have a, a colored backside because I can't print on um, coffee dyed paper. Maybe if I iron the papers really well, it will hold. But I'm afraid that I will ruin my printer. And if I ruin my printer, I will not be able to test out my own kit. So I'm not very eager to try that out. But I know people print on coffee dyed paper. So I'm not sure if you heard, but my husband was calling me if I wanted to have some tea and... Of course I want some tea, but it's on the video now. But these are the papers that I just showed you. I think this, yes, this is for Europe. Uh, I think I saw uh, Gail Agostinelli use these papers once too, a long time ago. But I can remember her showing these sort of papers too. But they have a horrible smell. I don't like the smell. Yeah, I'm going to include it in the journal. It's a little bit too long. I think I have enough pages now. Let me check this on the outside. Oh, it's all too long. I have to. Yeah, it's a little bit too long, so I have to cut off the height. So, okay, this one is already ruined, so I'm going to cut off so a little bit from the the width. And let me check. on the height and this one is too high and the other one I'm going to cut these off of camera so you don't have to see me do that so cut off the pages um, I'm gonna put them in here this fell out tuck it in and what I'm now going to do is clip um, the papers in. I'm just using the clip. Um, I'm not going to put the small one on the middle as a centerpiece because it's going to move for sure. So I'm putting it here. And you have to make sure you really press the fold of the papers into the fold of the booklet. That's all you have to do. Um, it keeps falling out, so... 
clip it on, clip it on on this side, and um, I am going to use waxed thread, but you can also use um, embroidery thread or any kind of string you have. Um, Not sure how long I need. I'm just cutting off a piece and see what I need. And I have a needle over here. And you can punch holes with an owl. This is an owl, but this one is not so sharp anymore. It's actually, I think it's broken, but it was from my father-in-law. I have two. This one I use a lot and it's still pointy, but this one is I think the tip is broken off but yeah it's really old and I keep it and as an alternative I bought this I bought it at a food store I have no idea where this is for but it is very sharp and it works you just punch punch three holes inside here that's all you do and I'm just eyeballing one uh, for the middle part. Maybe it's not exactly in the middle, but... And make sure you don't um, put it through your fingers. And this makes a very huge hole, as you can see. So using an owl is way better. This is a terrible big hole, but... It works. And then you just, and I think there's a way you should start where the, in which hole you should start. I just start at the middle always. Um, and you see how it goes. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. But there are a lot of videos on how to sew in signatures with a free stitch. I don't know how you call it. Free pamphlet stitch. Something like that. And I want this on the outside, so what I'm going to do, I'm going under this one, under this one, going back in again. And you're thinking you want it on the outside while you're going inside, uh, because I want to make a tie, a knot, in here before I go back to the outside. So that's why. And I'm just doing this to secure it again. And pop it to the other side and do the same with this thread. Like so. Yeah. And now you can take off the clips. I thought I had a camera on pause. I was thinking, ooh, and I did all this off camera, but I am filming still, so that's okay. So, um, let me just prepare uh, something for the number drawing again, and then when I'm back, we will make the binding, like the button over here, maybe put an eyelet in, and I think then, maybe a little bit embellishment on here, this is done. Um, yeah, let's do that. So, let me drink some tea, and then... We start off 
with a few numbers. I'm so happy I put this on this little, it's a light thing that you can um, draw with. So if you put an image over it, you can trace it. It's a very handy thing for this. Uh, the next number is I-27. And I do have I-27. I'm going to draw five numbers, so four still to go. N-38. N38, I don't have N38. G48, I don't have G48. I think I'd have to do one or two, I'm not sure. I'm going to do two. I lost, I lost count. I lost track of how many I have to do. G49. I have G49 doesn't fit on here. One more. N32. And I was thinking uh, this week about the bingo. I thought, well, maybe we can do it every season. Like a spring bingo, summer bingo. Well, summer might not be a lot of people joining in. Maybe the end of the summer or at the beginning of the summer. And the fall uh, bingo, but maybe I can turn it into a live event and play bingo until there is a winner. So during one live event, but I'm not able to do live videos yet. I, I don't know if I can. Maybe it's just a technical thing I have to adjust or I'm not allowed to do lives, but I don't know. Maybe we can try that. Then it's really uh, an, an interactive bingo. But uh, these are the numbers. I'm going to put a picture also in the Facebook group um, but yeah let's go work on the journal a little so here we have the journal um, I used a wooden button on the other one which I stamped on I can do that again I already have one stamped but it didn't work out very well although I can use them it looks okay but I just, I have a stamp where there's some circle on, exactly on that stamp. So I stamped exactly on the button, try to aim at that point, and it worked. So, and what I also did was, sorry for the noise, um, distress it with some distress ink. You can color the button in any color you want. With that, also inking the other half, yeah, and I need to sew this on, and how I did this, um, measure somewhere around here needs to be the button, um, no, please. I use the smaller punch. I didn't make a mark. And I punched two holes, even though the button has four. This goes easier than trying to put the needle through because it's very thick with all the layering going on. So you have this now. And you just sew it on. Um, how did I do it? I like this. So. So on the inside, it's only this. All the 
the tie knotting is going to be on this side under the button otherwise it looks ugly but of course you can go back in and come back again and then go through the other holes of the button otherwise you can't sew it on or is it still in? yeah and I just and that's the easy thing with the waxed thread it's um it stays together very easy and I just I did one I tied it once and then wrapped it around not as much otherwise I have no string left to tie again and just secure it with a few knots and then you're good to go So, and if you want, you can even put some dangly bits on here. I, I don't want to do that because otherwise it, it will interfere with the closure. But you can if you want to. So we have this on the inside now. And that looks okay. And this on the outside. And you can wrap this around twice. Is the other way and this is the closure and you can put some beads on here okay, so I have here my beads and um, what I also found I'm not sure if you remembered but when I showed you the prizes for the bingo game uh, in the second prize it's a paper package I also said there was a set of inks but I couldn't find them at the moment and I found them and there are two blue ones and two purple ones and this one is in metallic and they real work really well so this is also included in the second prize um and i have here some christmas bells and some christmas how do you call them um christmas thingies christmas i don't know how you call them um charms <laughs> Uh, I want to include one of these. Oh, I had them already. And I'm going to use both of the stone snow stars because it fits the cover more. I think it's a better match with the cover. Um, belts, gold ones or pink ones. Not sure. Do I have a green one? I have green ones too. I can use a. Okay. So I'm not going to use the the letters this time. Just small ones. Let me see how far I can come. I have the X. But yeah, I have to make Christmas. I have a T. I need an H, an R, I have an R.
not sure why I'm doing this way because I'm not right left handed, I'm right handed. Oh, forgot to make um, a knot on top, which is stupid. <laughs> I have to untie it to make a knot. No, 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 I don't want it over it. It has to be on top. Okay. So I did some of the bead work off camera because it was taking me ages i'm not sure if i'm liking the christmas word on this journal i'm leaving it on but let me know in the comment section if i should take it off or leave it on because i think it's too too black in my opinion it's too in your face maybe I can color the, um, the white a little bit. I really don't like the white letters. It's too much. But yeah. And the other thing we need to do is make a little dangly bit on one of the tabs on here. Over here. Using the star. What I'm going to do is, yeah, um, let's see where I have those. Oops. These I made a few years ago, and I made many. Yeah. I used to put all these on a, on a journal. Every journal that I made had one of my beads or more, but always at least one. Which one I'm going to put on? I 
think I might like this one. Yeah, I'm going to put this one on. And the other thing I want to change because I really don't like that color. I like the coin, but I don't like the color. It's from the Tim Holtz um, thingy I have at the other side. Okay, let me just figure this out. This has to be like this. Nope. Yeah, this is working. And we have this over here. Maybe it's too much. You know what? I'm going to change this because I don't like I don't like the color of the coin. Uh, I changed this bead onto the journaling card. I had this on the journaling card with a black bolt pin, but I don't like the black bolt pin, so I put on um, an antique colored one over here. And the um, coin that we had, I did um, colored a little bit with some alcohol ink um, I used this sealer and I also put on some gilding wax not sure if you can see it I used um, these two sorry these two colors sepia and patina um, with a brush and um, because um, I didn't like the, the color, I already said that, but I, I really didn't. Uh, and I want to replace this because I don't like this for this and this. something like this and what I'm going to do is wrap around um, a piece of thread the wax thread and tie it into a little bow if that works And then put it on here like so. I have the coin here. I'm not sure if it's dry already. Let's hope it's dry. We will see. But it looks something like this now. And I think this is better. I'm not so sure about the Christmas part. I think I'm going to tear it apart because I really don't like it. It's too much. Sorry. Um, for those of you who liked it, it's off. So we got this over here. We got this on the front. These are all the pages inside. Um, we have a little bag. We can put something in here. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, a little bag. We can put something in here. And this at the back side. Yeah, I really like it. And this one one time over here and this one two times three times over here maybe even four times yeah 
this is way better to me this looks better to me so um let's do some drawing again the last round for today i'm not sure if it's the last round for the whole bingo game uh, let me get my thing so um i think i'm going to draw five again and maybe then we will be nearby the ending of this game i think i hope i have b one b one and i did mention the journal um the giveaway journal the first prize of this bingo game i didn't work on it yet at um to finish the cover and all that i was planning to do it on camera sorry i had to sneeze let me first say b14 um about working on the journal uh i was planning on doing it on camera and i will do a little bit on camera but a larger piece i will do off camera and hopefully i can do it with the holidays because we're not going anywhere so i have time we can just relax and be together when we want to. I need to draw one number, I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to draw this one, I-20. It's not fitting on the thingy again. I'm going to draw another one. And then I will be finished. N-41. Even from Natalie, 41 is not my age anymore. Um, I don't have it. But... I need one, two. How is this possible? <laughs> one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. So maybe there's somebody with a full bingo card already. I don't know. I hope so. And if you do, you have to post it in the Facebook group or comment down below, of course. Uh, and scream in your living room, you have bingo or in your craft room. Um, but this is it for today. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, sorry, I'm bumping the camera again. I'm not quite um, um, myself yet. I'm still not feeling very well. But yeah, I did work today. So I thought I could make a video also. And as you can see, this button is lower. This is a little lower. I'm not sure this is more blingy and this is more natural like botanical but i do like them both so i'm not sure i'm going to put them in my store i don't know what to do with them maybe i'll keep them for myself but yes this is it for today um show me your bingo cards let me know how far you are how many videos i have to make how many numbers i have to draw or hopefully just one video because uh, it would be nice when it's wrapped when christmas is um, over um thank you for watching thank you for all your supporting comments if you're not a subscriber maybe you want to subscribe to my channel make sure you hit the bell so you will be notified when i upload new videos um yeah stay safe stay creative greetings from the netherlands and i hope to see you next time bye 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 mm -hmm.